I saw the big headlines that there was a big episode of racial, nasty, hateful, misogynistic, bigoted graffiti at a University of Michigan, first thing that came to me was, hey, didn't they just have one of those at that university? Oh, my bad. That was another example of racist, bigoted, hateful, misogynistic graffiti that everybody on the campus went crazy about until we found out it was a big fat hoax. One of the fellas did it himself. Okay, so let's move up to the newest one. Again, don't get this confused with the hoax that we just wrote about and did a video about at Kansas State University a couple days ago where people are writing notes on their own blackboards and then they come in and say, oh, the white people are after me, the white people are after me, help, help. No, this isn't that case either. This is a whole new case, a case that's totally on the up and up. Let this be a reminder that in order to truly progress in terms of racial equality, our voices should not only be heard today, but should be heard every day from this point on. We will not tolerate hate, bigotry, racism, misogyny. We will affirm that we are bigger, better, and bolder than that. Three African-American girls that live in Sweeney Hall, two um, whom, which are my friends, um, they had racial slurs written on their door. We took action like we should have, and CMU took action as they should have as well. We're still processing everything that's happened, and I know this has happened to other people here on this campus. And like President Davies said, we cannot tolerate that. We have to be aware of what's going on around us at all times. There's so much obliviousness and ignorance here on this campus, and it needs to go away. It needs to stop now. This is still our community, and we belong here just as much as anyone else. I want you guys to use this event to push us forward. We can't let stuff like this happen ever again. We can't let individuals feel like they don't belong because of the color of their skin. Without us being one and being a unity and being a brotherhood and a sisterhood, we can never change. We will never change. And I, I just believe that CMU as well as other colleges and universities need to hear the multicultural students. They need to hear our cries. Our demands are as follows. We demand that each student be required to take a cultural course pertaining to their major or minor. We demand that cameras be placed and actively used in the hallways of residence halls. We demand that a certified third party host a race and ethnicity training that will be mandatory for all faculty, staff, students, and police. I think what I did here are very reasonable and things that we've actually been working on. Central Michigan Police Departments are always going through various training exercises and whatnot. I've had the opportunity to talk with Chief Yagley about this, uh, and he is handling that as appropriate. And I believe because of all of us here together, coming together as a community, that it won't happen again. So many hoaxes. So many people so eager to believe them without one scintilla of proof. So many people so eager to, to, to hop into their dormitories with signs and microphones and little sound bites all ready. Please, sir, I want some more. Is there one scintilla of proof who actually left that note? Who actually wrote that note? One molecule of proof? None? Other than the denial, deceit, delusion on the part of that people on that campus? including the campus president, to believe anything that won't make the black kids angry.